What's going on YouTube? Chris of Generous Comics. I got a little haul to show out today, but before I get into that, I wanted to show you guys a little uh, room update. Uh, I'm not gonna, my kids are over here playing some Minecraft. It's a mess over here. Yeah, that's mostly their fault. <laughs> so, um, but I have my own mess going on. I'm gonna move over here. Um, I am trying to update my Star Wars wall. It's one thing I am definitely working on. Um, that's a mess. I have tools in here. I got my toolbox over here. Uh, obviously, you see a whole bunch of boxes and empty boxes and random crap over here. So, um, But uh, I've been organizing. I've been getting a lot of stuff into boxes. But as you see, it just it seems never ending. Um, and I rearranged my, my, my boxes in my uh, unit as well. So trying to make some more room. I'm tripping as I'm walking through here too. So if you see over here, we got a lot more boxes stacked up on this little table, boxes under, and then, you know, this is a count of uh, over 11,000 now in the collection. So trying to organize all that. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a mess. Even more stuff over here. So I can't wait to show this off when I hope I get it done before next semester starts before August because um, I just I, I, I need it to be organized. <laughs> so, yep. So I got an open space right here. Then I'm going to bring in another empty lawn box and get some more uh, DC stuff as this is all DC stuff. This is uh, independent and that's all Marvel over there and over there. And most of most of that is Marvel and Spider-Man stuff over there. So, yeah, and this countertop. I mean, it's just I've been bagging and boarding, you know, filing. Um, and it's, it's crazy. It's never ending. Trying to, you know, get the toys situated, hanging up the toys, finding more space for the toys. That's been tough in itself. Oh, I brought this out here. It's a little bit. I just had a little piggy bank, you know, from the coffee container. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna customize it, put some kind of a, either material or wallpaper or something um, around it to make it like a, a superhero or maybe a Star Wars bank, something, something like that. Um, but let's go into uh, some stuff I picked up. Let me get another light on over here. So, oh, these Mary Jane variants. I haven't been getting them all, but there's a couple that I just love that I had to get. So, of course, I had to pick up Punisher 13. Um, with Mary Jane as Punisher. And I got another Venom 151. It's just such an awesome cover. This was from, uh, this was my weekly Midtown. So, it's like a week late because I get them a week late. Um... Cause I gotta wait for the mail, and then it's uh, some random stuff they had a sale. So what is this? Uh, Adventures in the DC Universe number eleven, starring Green Lantern and Wonder Woman. And I just thought it was a cool cover, and it was dirt cheap. So uh, I grabbed that. Um, here's some of my weekly. Still picking up a lot of the Rebirth Wonder Woman, but I've cut back on a lot too. Uh, the True Believers, uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number one. Even though I have the real original copy this is cool to have and same with this i just like i mean they're only a dollar so why not spider-man number one miles morales this was sweet the uh renew your vows uh number five variant humberto ramos amazing spider-man <clears throat> number one true believers And we got Suicide Squad number 20. I went with the variant. I love this cover. Some more of the uh, 40th anniversary Star Wars. This is Poe Dameron 16. This is the 22nd variant out of the 48. I love that. Watching Alderaan explode. I don't know if you can see them in there. You can see the reflection of Vader and uh, Leia. And then there's this one. This is 21 of the 48. After number eight. Oh, look. Look what I got. <laughs> Another one of those. 
All right, we got Flash 25. I'm still picking that one up. Detective Comics. Uh, number 959. Batgirl. I don't know if I'm going to... This might be the last one. Number 12 that I pick up out of this. We'll see. I really don't like that they moved a lot of them up to 399 now. And I guess it's because the the ones that are 399 are going to be just once a month now instead of the twice a month but still no. I'm just I I was so you know into the 299 the 399 is just it's it's ridiculous man I get inflation and all that but I mean it's breaking my bank it's breaking my heart and my bank. <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man. Renew your vows. Number seven. This was cool. Anniversary issue. World's finest. Number 300. I don't think it has much value because it was dirt cheap. Uh, but it was like, what was it? Like a 60% off sale or something? I don't remember. This was a cool cover. Uncanny X-Men number 460. Obviously, Uncanny is something that I've been trying to work on as a run. Uh, this fills a hole. It was on sale, and I love that cover. So, had to get that one. Superman, number 11. No, Supergirl, excuse me. I was like, wait a minute. Superman, number 11. <laughs> That's not right. Silver Banshee. I love Silver Banshee. Awesome cover. Had to get that one. And lastly here, I had uh, Avengers, uh, the Kree Scroll, Kree Scroll War, number one, and number two. Pretty sweet. That's my haul. So that's my haul. I just watched, um, oh man, I'm new, I'm new to him. Oh shoot, I apologize if he's watching and I'm blanking on his name. It's comic... Oh, shoot. I, I think he just subbed me not too long ago, and I just subbed him, and I was checking out a couple of his videos last night. Comic, not comic fan. I forget, but an awesome YouTuber. He's got some awesome stuff so far. I watched like two or three of his videos last night or the night before, and uh, it's really cool. I like what he was doing because he was showing off full runs that he had, and he was showing off um, his Wonder Wo George Perez Wonder Woman run. Uh, and it was just awesome watching it because that's one that I'm trying to um, trying to complete right now. And he, I commented, and he was like, "Yeah, better get them because they're starting to get a little more expensive." And I noticed that when I went to the A1 sale uh, a couple weeks ago or last week. So um, yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to him. He's doing some big things. I I'm sorry, I, I can't remember his his name correctly, but um, uh, I'm gonna go as soon as I'm done making this video. I'm gonna go <laughs> remind myself. <laughs> So, all right, guys, I'm going to cut it there. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys had a good 4th of July. Didn't blow any uh, uh, fingers or limbs off. Lighting some fireworks. And uh, until next time, guys.